Hello and welcome back to Amazing Sewing Corner. For this project, you're going to need your needle, yeah, the thread. You're going to need some pins to stick to hold your fabrics together, scissors, a tape roll if you have one, and then a marking pen. And please take note of the kind of fabric you will use. You don't want a fabric that is too open, you know. Then you're going to mark out six inches on fold as you can see and then you also mark out i'm going to be cutting it into two so i'm going to mark out 5.5 first and then the other length two be five that would be so i'm going to be marking 5.5 and 11 because i'm going to be dividing it into two so as i was saying please take note of the kind of fabric you'll be using for this project for the nose marks because the main reason why you're using the nose marks is to protect or um prevent entry of fluids you know of any thing into your onto your face or your nose or so you don't want to use a, a material that's like a net that is opened so make sure you use a tightly woven fabric so that you would you get the best of it so i'm just going to connect those lines and cut it out and I'm going to be cutting both the main and uh, main um, fabric and the lining from this small piece. So definitely the first one is going to be the lining or the main one and the other one will be the lining. So for those who have if you have a sewing machine in your house, you can go ahead and use your sewing machine. I'm just using a needle, using needle and thread for those who don't have it. So you're going to fold it again into two, so that makes it four, um, four unfold. So then the elastic, I forgot to mention that you're going to measure twelve inches and cut because you're going to need six inches for both sides. So. So you're going to divide that into two so to give you six inches each for both sides of the nose marks so let's go straight to the cotton again because i unfolded it so i'm going to fold it back into four yeah again yeah this is not the same way you fold your fabric for a peplum this is folding without the hang knitting that we use so just for like just for this as you can see me as you have seen me do it so you're going to mark out four quarter that's the tip of the where that four quarter is is the tip of the face mask so i'm just going to mark it out and connect the lines four quarter so now from the tip you're going to measure 1.5 you see 1.5 and mark it out that 1.5 is what grip your nose the face marks so if you feel like your small your nose is smaller you can reduce it to one quarter or one inch so i'm just going to draw a curve line to that point and then connect it back it doesn't have to be perfect just connect it so like this so if you feel like your nose is going to be then the 1.5 will be too much you can reduce it better still cut it like this and then adjust it afterwards so you don't make a mistake now i'm going to do the same thing for the other one which is going to serve as the lining for the nose mask So you are, to, you are going to have four pieces, so two for the main mask and then two for the lining. Yeah, if you are using a sewing machine, just sew across the curved lines. So make sure right side is facing right side. So you are going to be sewing on the wrong side. Please note that. So. 
and then I'm going to be marking out a cuffed line where I'll be sewing on. You can do that too because I'm going to be using a needle and thread, so you don't want to be very careful, you're not sewing off. Um, so you're going to be marking a quarter inch, um, 0 0.25, just to sew on. So I'll do the same thing for the lining. Make sure the same thing, make sure the wrong side and the right side face right side and, and the, we are going to sew on the wrong side. So just going to pass the thread into the needle and so if you have a sewing machine please go ahead and sew it straight out. Sew on that line. And you can skip this part if you have a sewing machine. Go ahead and sew. So take note of how you sew. You pass it from behind from the back not from in between from behind then you pass it back so that you can lock the stitch you know you're sewing with your it's your needle not the machine so you lock the stitch and the kind of stitch i'll be using is a back um, is it back foot stitch it's just that you go in between the previous stitch and then come out again on that line so that way you're making sure to lock it very well to lock each stitch because you want to make sure it is very very um, tightly knitted close as possible so i'm going to be doing that all around and for the second one too so i've done that as you can see i stitched that course i want to show you how to lock it once you're done i'll just grab one more stitch and show you how to lock it at that point so you pick it and then you wind the thread over the needle twice and you pull it out you can also pull the needle into the fabric and pick it up on the other side and also wind it like this you can see uh, yeah and then you go over and pick a piece of it and wind the thread over the needle and pull it out as you can see you can see and pull it out so that is how you lock your stitch since you're using a needle and thread so if you're if you're using a machine you can continue at this point as you can see make sure it's very tightly knitted there shouldn't be hole so don't put any hole in it you can see mine is as is as tight as that of a sewing machine so, so you're going to be facing the right sides together and you pin it now you're going to be you're putting your elastic at that um, angle so you first want to pin it down so it won't be drifting around it at the corners you can leave about 0.25 inch allowance there so you can stitch the two pieces together first before stitching the elastic so I'm just going to stitch around it the same way you stitch the the curved parts the center of the nose mask So it's going to be faster if you're using a sewing machine, but if you don't have a sewing machine, nothing to worry about. You can as well do it as I'm doing it in this video. Always remember to lock your stitch or back because this is needle, needle and thread. It's not a sewing machine stitch, so there's a tendency for you to pull back. So just always lock your stitch. So... 
you can see that the elastic is already fixed you can see on the one side so sorry the camera wasn't capturing it well so I'm just going to mark in 0.25 stitch allowance or seam allowance or sewing allowance just where you'll be sewing on this is a needle and thread um, project so you want to be very very careful so you're not sewing zigzag so just mark that out and stitch on that line so i'm going to be marking that all around and leaving about two to three inches allowance where i i'll be able to turn out the fabric and if you sew it all around there's no way you will turn it out you only have the wrong side so just leave that twinges allowance so you can turn the fabric out so use that one to turn it to turn it out lock your stitch and at any point where your thread finishes make sure you lock it before you get to the point where you can no longer pass the um, the thread through the needle so make sure you lock your stitch and then you cut the, the remaining and passing the fresh one so you can see that the other one too is intact so I'm just going to sew the other side to the point where we'll be turning it out so as you can see done and I'm going to be turning it out so. If you notice any hole uh, missed your in between your stitches, please restitch that part so that your, your mask will last longer. You can wash it and you know keep reusing it. So I'm just going to fold it in, fold the 0 0.25 allowance that you have been sewing on, fold it in and then stitch on it. As you can see, so our mask is ready. Yeah, these are the other ones I made. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.